Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am going to be doing a pre-recorded live for you tonight. So a live, not live, because I am actually traveling today back from Indianapolis to Iowa where I am going to be spending a couple days with Barb and Dina. We had the on-stage event for Stampin' Up, which is a conference. It's a creative conference, so I wish I could tell you all about it, but it hasn't actually happened yet. It is a very sunny day here in Menasha, Wisconsin, too. I've got, like, the sun coming in. It's kind of crazy. So I am actually recording this on Monday, and I don't have any mail to share with you because we shared it all last night Sunday I know this is gonna probably get confusing I do not have a John report um, I posted a really cute picture of Steve with Haley and Steve with Val on my personal um, profile on Facebook and the only thing that I have heard from him is a thumbs up <laughs> so <laughs> I told you guys we like we like aren't we don't usually talk much when one of us is gone because I don't want to have to be worrying about that when I'm traveling and he's not, I don't know, he doesn't need to talk to me. I, yeah, I was going to say he's not insecure that he needs to talk to me, but that's not fair <laughs> because lots of people just want to talk to, to their loved ones at home and he's not really that much of a talker, my husband. He's kind of doesn't really like people a lot. <laughs> I may be an exception to that rule, I hope, but we just don't communicate when we're gone. Um, we'll text and say, hey, how's it going? Or he'll text me probably today and say, don't forget to put the garbage out. <laughs> and um, I usually text him when something breaks because when he goes someplace, something always breaks. And so far, nothing is broken. We did have super high winds here over the weekend. The power went out. Uh, but I was up in Green Bay at Tundra Lodge, so it didn't matter. And, of course, that was last weekend to you guys. And um, we didn't really have any damage. I keep looking out the window feeling guilty about not going outside and raking up the leaves because I know when he gets home next Wednesday late, he is going to be repacking and heading up north because our gun deer season starts on the 19th. So he needs to get up there and get stuff ready. For us, his girls, he takes good care of his girls. My dad was always like, the girls come first, the girls' stands get set up first. He took care of his girls. So my husband has kind of stepped into that spot. And um, he has to get Haley set up. My mom and I sit in a palace together. Um, years ago, my dad started building a beautiful deer stand for her. It's on telephone poles, and it has wooden stairs that goes up to it, and it's like a house on telephone poles, and my mom calls it the palace. Well, last year, the year before, my friend was hunting with us, and the window was stuck, and so we told her, just give it a good reef on it, you know, like, Rrr. and she did that, and the whole window fell out on the ground. <laughs> So, my brother and Steve and my other brother did some work on it this summer. I think they put in a new window. They took the stairs down and put in better stairs because the other stairs were really short and hard to walk on with big, heavy um, winter boots. And um, they got it all cleaned out because, you know, lots of flies get in it and die. And it's kind of gross every year when nobody's using it. So... Um, he'll be going up north, making sure the palace is set up. He'll bring our big, huge propane tank, which sits on the ground, and they have hoses running up to the stand. I know this is like the palace. And he'll get that all set up for us. So he has a lot of work ahead of him when he gets back from um, Nebraska late Wednesday night. I think that my mom and I are going to actually take Val with us in the palace because it's nice and warm in there with the propane heater. And, um, you know, you're kind of up in the air and I know we can kind of keep her occupied so she's not real loud, but we're sitting in there giggling and laughing all day and sleeping and eating a lot because it's, you know, hunting is kind of boring. Um, but that's what we're going to do. So lots of work ahead for Steve and I'm glad I will. I'm glad I won't see him when he gets home because I'm leaving. Well, actually, I think I've changed my mind now. I think I'm not leaving till early Thursday morning. So I will probably see him briefly when he comes to bed Wednesday night. Or, you know, let's be real. I'll probably still be up. And uh, then I'll be taking off early in the morning. <laughs> so we're going to be 
strangers in the night. <laughs> yeah, I said I'll wave on the interstate, but I don't think I don't think I'm leaving till Thursday morning. Anyways, but I do have prizes to award. I went in and took um uh, names from the comments that you guys leave, whether you're leaving it on Facebook where I post, I'll be live tonight, I'll be live in 15 minutes, um, or whether you're posting it on Facebook. I put you guys all in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And I have some red rhinestone basic jewels to give away. These are perfect for the upcoming holiday season, right? And they're also great for Valentine's Day or any red that you need on a card. Deb Sedlinger of Rochester, Minnesota. These are going to be your happy mail coming this week. So yay you. Also for sharing my video, um, whether you share my post on Facebook that says I'll be live in 15 minutes or I'll be live tonight, or whether you share my video on YouTube, I enter you into a drawing and I have some brand new snips to give away. Our drawing winner was Courtney Austin Darp of Cornelius, North Carolina. Courtney, I know everybody can use some new sharp little scissors, right? So watch for your happy mail coming. And then the third category that you can win in is when you place an order with me. And for placing an order with me, I have the Wonderful World stamp set, and also the silver and gold six by six specialty paper. Now, both of these were donated. Hang on, I gotta grab this bag, whoops. Both of these were donated by Cease Bowman. Cease, you are so generous, thank you so much. These are going out to Diane Paul of Long Beach, California. Diane, watch for your happy mail and congratulations to all the winners. Let me set these nicely aside so they don't get mixed up and I don't make a mess out of things. Okay, I had some of you on my Facebook Live. Oh, hang on, I gotta find out. I gotta look something up here. Da -da -da. Uh, here we go, Lori Watts. Lori Watts made this adorable angel ornament. Oh my gosh, right? Super, super cute. And I had several of you ask me if I would show you how to make this. And I am going to give that a whirl for my next live. So um, I'm leaving this right on my desk so I don't forget to do that. Oh, that sun is really distracting me. So watch for that in an upcoming live, not tonight, because I have some fun fall projects. I am just not ready to give up fall. Who is not ready to be done with fall stamping? I love fall stamping. I love the rich colors. I love the leaves. I love the pumpkins. I just, everything about fall. And it's so, it's so beautiful here in Wisconsin in the fall that it is my second favorite season. And of course, if you know me, you know summer is my first, right? Okay, I have some beautiful fall projects to share with you. Um, I've got a little treat or gift pouch that we're going to be decorating up. I have a little card to go with it. It's something very different. I think you'll love it. It's also um, part of a gift that I am going to be giving over the weekend at On Stage. So just know that. And then I have a beautiful fall card that I'm going to share with you. So I think we're ready to turn our camera around and get stamping. Hang tight. Here we go. Just a couple things that I want to mention to you. Let me get this straight because I hate it when things are crooked. So just give me a second here. I don't use the fancy software. I know I have it, but ugh, it's just one more thing to deal with, right? Here's that cute little ornament in case anybody really wanted to see it. Um, Stamp Happy Live. Oh my gosh, you guys. Stamp Happy Live is like one of the best gifts you can give yourself as a stamper. It is a website that Dina, Barb, and I created and run. You get three live classes every month, just like this, but they're private classes. You um, In those private classes, we do techniques, we do fun folds, we do layouts. It's all to help inspire you and teach you new things. Um, The premium membership is 
we have a basic membership for $19.95. The live classes are included in the premium membership. We have four online classes available new every month. So four new classes every month that are loaded on the Stamp Happy Academy website. That is included in the premium membership and the basic membership. Both of those memberships also get access to our um, events, like we do a catalog kickoff, uh, we did an open house that was really fun. We also have the Stamp Happy Live. If all you want is those live classes, that is $20. And again, you get three live classes per month. So, oh, this is the sheet I should have had out here first. That's why I was like stalled. I'm like, what? <laughs> so this explains that 1995, four on class, online classes every month. There are over 70 online classes on there right now that you would have access to if you were to join the Stamp Happy Academy. $34.95 a month for the premium membership, which includes the live classes. Both of them include... Um, the catalog kickoff party special events throughout the year. You can find all the information about this. Go check it out. When we're done with this live, go check that out. StampHappyAcademy.ning.com. It is the best gift you can possibly give yourself. Once you get there, you're going to click right here to sign up. All that's doing is creating an account. You create an account and then there's going to be a place over here where you can choose whether you want a basic, a premium, or a live-only membership. So once you do sign up for one of those memberships, watch your emails because you'll get an email from Stamp Happy Academy giving you some details. So I just wanted to mention that tonight. Also, our fitting florets is our collection. This is a special offering that started November 1st. It goes through January 4th or while supplies last. And this is a beautiful collection of brand new products. The framed florets and the framed florets dies. Stamping Up is starting calling the dies the same as the stamp set, which we love because I think that just gets really confusing sometimes. The um, These two items are going to continue to be available. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to get out a baby wipe. Look at this. Yep, that's how it goes. I'm trying to get out a baby wipe so I have that ready. Sorry about that. Just trying to do it. Do it quietly, but that didn't work, of course. <laughs> I should just know better, right? Um, those two items are going to continue to be available in our new upcoming spring mini catalog that starts Jul or January 4th, I believe, is the date. And the other items that are listed here is the framed and festive um, sentiment set. Beautiful font, lots of Christmas sentiments. The gold adhesive back swirls and also the beautiful fitting florets designer series paper these items will not be available after this promotion is over and remember it runs till january 4th or while supplies last so i just wanted to remind you of that when you order this bundle from me you are going to get a PDF file with a whole bunch of ideas that I and other demonstrators have compiled to get your creativity going, give you lots of ideas with this particular bundle. The other thing I wanna tell you, I was telling my team this the other day, that um, when we have a special offering like this, it is one of the funnest things for me because all Stamping Up demonstrators, almost all, all over the world, get this and they're creating. So we have tons and tons and tons of ideas coming out using this collection. And that to me just makes it so much more valuable. You can go out and look up these um, ideas on the internet by typing in fitting florets or framed florets and you can get tons of ideas to case and case means to copy and share everything. So lots of ideas always coming to you when we have a special offering like this. And I think that just makes the whole thing a little bit more valuable to me as a stamper. All right. Um, in case you missed it, I want to bring in my projects from last Sunday. Good grief, we had fun. So this is a baby swipe technique that we used with the Fond of Autumn, and we also use that Leaf 3D or leaf, the fall leaf 3D embossing folder, absolutely the funnest 
um, one of the funnest little techniques ever. And I love it because this is a great background to then stamp a line art image on and you don't have to color the images. So that's one of my favorite things about doing background techniques. This was part of my October Technique Club. Everybody in my online Technique Club got this instruction card. They get an instruction card each month with a sample of the technique on it. It also lists that there's a video they can watch on my blog on 11-6. And then they also get the card completely made up and ready to go. So each month you get one of these cards and as you accumulate those, you come up with quite um, a library of different technique ideas to utilize when you sit down to stamp. So this was one of our projects from last or from Sunday night, which to me was last night, but last week. Let's I'll just I'll just pretend like this is really Sunday for me too. Then the next card, I forgot to mention this, but this layout was inspired by one of my team members, Sarah Simon. She is a fantastic stamper. Um, I turned it into a gift card holder. Yay! All the dimensions and a free download for all of the projects I'm showing you right now are on my blog at www.astampabove.com. And this uses the packing tape, which is a faux embossing technique. You can see that glass of beer is really shiny. That's because it has packing tape over it. So, and I used a technique where we did blending brushes on the perfectly penciled designer series paper. Now, this is the brood for you. Uh, bundle. And that is my kit class for the month of November. I have pre-order available on my blog, again, right here. If you scroll down my blog post, you'll see online classes. There'll be a picture of this there. You can click on that or in the right-hand column, there's a button called online classes. You'll see all the classes I have available. We are going to be using the Brood for You bundle as well as the black and white perfectly penciled designer series paper that's included in your kit. We're also going to be using, no, oh, I don't have it right here, but the puff paint, the Snowfall Accents puff paint, also the Baker's Twine Essential Pack and a half a pack of brushed metallic dots, all included with the kit. The kit includes eight pre-cut cardstock, I should say, Pre-cut cardstock for eight cards. We're making four designs. You get to make two of each included in the kit and eight envelopes. Now, you can add on the bundle for the Brood for You if you don't have it for an additional $46. The kit is $52. All of that includes tax and shipping, and the PDF and the kit will be going out the week of November 27th. So this is a pre-order for that. If you need some ideas for man cards, you're going to love this class because, um, the and especially the Brood for You bundle, fantastic for man cards, but you can also make other cards with it besides just man cards, right? And then it is my niece Emma's birthday. And of course, she's also my goddaughter. I had to make her a special birthday card. This is a little shaker card made with the Celebrate, uh, la, la, la. oh darn, I can't remember the name of it. Um, oh, hang on, doggone it. Celebrate with tags, I'll just grab it. <laughs> celebrate with tags, I knew it was celebrate something. Celebrate with tags, this comes with a fabulous um, set of dies that cuts out two different kinds of tags and the little um, can candles in here. It cuts out the mitten, the balloon. There's some banners in there. Um, fantastic little stamp set. So this was the card that I made for Emma. And I used the Cottage Gingham Designer Series Paper. Is that what it's called? Gingham Cottage Designer Series Paper? Gingham Cottage. I knew I had the words right, but I didn't know if I had them in the right order. And also the Everything Sequins. Look at those beautiful sequins. And then this is also a gift card holder. I got her a gift card to Marisa's, so I can't lose this card, right? <laughs> um, that's one of her favorite places to shop for clothes. So we've got this beautiful card. And then let's bring this other little package in. This is a little box. This is a new template. If you remember right a couple weeks ago, I made this box. It's the same exact box, only different size of paper. And I used the to and from in there and a little candle to go on this tag, which is the same tag I used here. And also the um, gingham paper. 
the glitter ribbon to match. And then I took the tissue paper and I stamped it up also. So I just kind of put this in here. Here's what I got her. I got her a, to go with her gift card, I got her a bottle of perfume. I tried them all out. I smelled them all and I thought, ooh, I really like this one. I think she will too. So this is Maurice's perfume. I wrapped the exact ribbon around it, put it in the little box, and then I like to take my tissue paper and just tuck it. Most of the time I would wrap my present in the tissue paper, but this time I just tucked it in there. And isn't that just a fantastic little gift set, you guys? Okay, free downloads. There's templates for the bag, the gift bag on my blog, and a free download for all of these projects you can print out or save to your device to have in the future. So you have all the measurements, the colors, the names of the different products that I used. Free downloads are the bomb. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And I can't lose this. I'm gonna set that in by my um, bag that I will be packing to go up north because Emma's birthday is always right at Chris or a Christmas, Thanksgiving. Oh, and I've got my Harley Davidson gift card in here. So that's kind of fun. I don't know who I'm gonna give this to, but another thing I said you could put in here is like lottery tickets. Those are great gifts for guys, right? Because sometimes you're just like, oh, I don't know what to get them. Um, a lottery ticket is a lot of fun for guys too. Okay, let's bring our first project in here. I'm gonna get my little cheat sheet set up. We're gonna bring in all of our goodies. We are going to be using the Leaf Label and Amber Gem Combo Pack. Also the Very Best Trio Punch, which I don't know if I've used that for my videos yet, so that'll be kind of fun. Uh, we're gonna be using the Hello Harvest, as well as, ooh, we're gonna do black ink. I'm kind of pulling everything out of another bin here. Bring my stamp set in here. And of course, we'll be using the gorgeous Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. I am so shocked that this did not um, go on back order yet because it's so beautiful. And then before I get too far, I wanted to tell you guys, I actually wasn't sure if I would have time to do a live video for you for the, you know, the 13th, which I would be gone for. But I opened up a door to my cabinet and I found all of these. Isn't this crazy? These are all cards that I have made ready to roll for videos. And this particular card that we're gonna be making was in that pack and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. These are all cards that I made for swaps or some other um, event that I needed. Now, I'm gonna pull out my cardstock pieces and here we go with this. Oh, I need to grab, hang on, I need to grab. Oh, I don't have any clean ones, I'm sorry you guys. I forgot to make a new one of these, but I'm sure you don't care, right? You could care less. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're like, oh, Kelly, don't sweat the small stuff. Um, pull in my paper here. So I am using Mary Merlot. This is a color I wish I used more often, but I don't. I don't know why, because it's a beautiful color. It almost, you know, it coordinates with my nails. <laughs> which, you know, is of course important. <laughs> so we've got Mary Merlot, 11, or I'm sorry, four and a quarter by 11. Then I have a basic white layer that is three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. I took that Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper and I have, uh, let's see, I'm gonna be using, da, 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 da. yep, these, these sides. I've got four different designs and these are all one by three. So four pieces at one by three. And then I've got one more piece that is one and a quarter by three and seven eighths. We're gonna bring in our paper trimmer. Let me find it. It's, oh, here it is right here. Gosh, that could have been scary if it was a snake, right? Do you guys ever say that? Wow, it's right under your nose. Um, we're gonna score this piece at five and a half and nine and three quarters. And remember, free downloads on my blog right here. 
that will have all of the directions, the pictures of the project, dimensions, scoring, the whole deal will be in the free downloads. Now, I forgot to say, if you place an order with me, and I always appreciate your orders, it is what keeps me in business. If you place an order with me, please use this host code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use this code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have those. So we're going to fold on the score line and burnish that edge. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to fold it back. And I just noticed that I forgot to bring in my twine. Hang on a second. Uh, here we go. We're going to be using the Simply Elegant trim to go on this part. All right, so we've got this part done. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to adhere these little, whoops, one by three inch pieces of designer series paper. Now, this of course is a fantastic way to use up your little scraps, right? And you can do this with any designer series paper. However, I do recommend that you get this designer series paper and get a lot of it. <laughs> it is just so pretty. I always find that if I buy one pack of designer series paper, I don't use it because I'm afraid I'm gonna use up that one design that I know I'm gonna find a card that would look so pretty with that and then I'm not gonna have any left. But if I buy two packs of designer series paper, I will use both of them up. And it's just this silly little mind game we play with ourselves that is completely ridiculous. But it is oh so true. Dude, oh, I didn't spread these out enough. Eh. Oh, not too bad. This is what I love about liquid glue. Look at, I just moved that and it's fine now. So, yay. Okay, these beautiful leaf label and amber gem combo packs are so cool, you guys. And I am going to, you get, you get one pack of the amber gems and then you get, mm, I don't know how many of these. It says 50 on here. I hope that's right. But I don't know if it's counting these two. So it might be 25. No, this is more than 25. Anyways, you get a lot. Look at you get, you get a lot of them. Um, you know what? That's going to really bug me that I am not giving you information that you could possibly need. So hang tight. We will look right back here. This is on page 49. And I think page 49 is going to tell us my poor tattered catalog like it's got glue dots stuck to it okay number two you get 25 leaves and 50 gems so that's a lot of leaves in here we're going to take didn't I pull one of those out huh I don't know where it went we'll, we'll just grab another one we're going to take one of these leaves and I'm going to use the you are such a blessing stamp with black ink and I'm gonna stamp that right on my leaf. Yes, winning. <laughs> then we're gonna grab some dimensionals. And I, let's see, I don't know if I need minis or if I just need the big ones. We're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of our leaf. Pretty sure I'm gonna put a dimensional right over that hole because we're not using that to do anything with. And as a matter of fact, it is going to lend itself as a little tool for me. Okay, whoops, this folds back. Let's get this closed up before we have some type of a disaster and make sure we don't have black ink on our fingers. I'm gonna get this burnished a little bit better. Here we go. Okay, so you wanna fold this down for placement of this leaf because we're gonna put this leaf right here. Isn't that so cool? This is such an easy card and it really does have like that wow factor. It's a fun fold and you're using up scraps. So highly recommend this one. I'm gonna put this at a slight angle here and then we're going to grab our amber rhinestones and I'm gonna put one 
right here. Isn't this funny? My fingers are still dirty from last night. I scrubbed my hands, but yeah, I'm still kind of a mess and I apologize for that. Okay, and I think we'll grab another one and maybe put it right there. That's a small one. And then how about another small one right over there? Oh my goodness, we blinged that baby right up. We can throw that away. Okay, now the insert for this card, I'm going to use this black designer series paper. I really love the um, acorns and the leaves that are on here. So we're gonna glue this right to the top of our piece of designer series paper. I'm gonna get, make sure that I have that all the way to the top. Grab my snips because I knew it was going to hang over a little bit. Do you guys do that where you um, always cut it just a sliver bigger? I hate it when it's too short, so I always err on that side. Okay, now I wanted to show you something about the my punches, not particularly this punch. This is called the Very Best Trio Punch. It does three different things, which is cool. But one of the things I do with my punches is when I take them out of the bag, I cut the label out of them. I cut it really tiny and I just put it on my punch with a piece of scotch tape. And that way, you know how my brain doesn't like remember things very well? That way I always have that on here and I can, I can go like this. I can go, oh, the very best trio punch. And you guys think like I'm this rock star that just knows all the names of all the things. Well, I'm a little bit of a cheater, so. <laughs> Nothing serious, no serious cheating. Now we are going to, I'm gonna test this out on a scrap because it's been a while since I made this card, but we're gonna use this ornament edge and we're gonna punch that and look at that pretty edge that that makes. And then if you wanted to do the other corner, you need to turn your cardstock over and put it in like that. So now it is matching. And I think what I did on this one is, let me take a look at this. I put this in here like this. Yep, I put it in from this way. If you put it in from this way, it's going to look different. So you can do a couple different things with this. See that? This has the little um, circle edge and this has the rounded edge. So just keep that in mind. So I wanna put this one in from this side. I'm glad I tested that out because I didn't remember. And now I'm gonna turn it over to do the same thing. So you gotta kinda of be careful about that. If you have this punch, just test it out. And now we've got matching edges, okay? Now, as long as we have this out here, let's grab another little scrap and we will test out the rest of these because it is a trio punch. And here comes this one. And let's see what happens. This one I think is just gonna do the same thing. Yep, so this makes a nice little tag. Now, what do you do here? We need like a hole there, right? If we're gonna put some ribbon in or something, you can put this right in there. And I'm gonna see how well I can center this. You might wanna make a little mark, but ooh, look at that. I call myself a professional, but you guys know that it's all hit and miss, right? <laughs> that, that turned out pretty darn good. Okay, so this punch does ornamental. You can do this or this. To do both, you have to put it in from the same angle, not from here, but from here and then flip it over to do the other side. Very best trio punch. And did you see? I'm such a professional, I had to actually look at that again because I couldn't remember. <laughs> so this is our layer that's gonna go inside our card. And I am going to put that right in here. I am going to glue this down. I just don't like that flopping around. We're gonna glue that down. And notice the size of my designer paper, it comes right up to the edge, but we didn't waste any tucking it under there. So that's why they're three inches. And then we're going to take our Simply Elegant trim. I'm gonna go with the gold because of course that's gonna look really nice with the fall, beautiful fall colors. 
take this and I'm going to tie it around here. One, two, three. And I think I have enough room there. See how I'm holding that with my thumb and now I'm pulling this down to see where do I need to cut this? You know, you want them to be even. And now this is nice and thin. So if this was a thicker ribbon, I wouldn't be able to tie a knot in it to hold it still for me while I tie a bow. So this is nice and thin and I'm just going to tie a knot and then work on my bow because you know, trying to keep this stuff tight is tricky. And if you didn't want to tie a knot, maybe what you're using is a little thicker, just take a mini glue dot and stick it under there when you tie that first um, round with your knot, stick it under there to hold it in place while you get the rest of your the rest of your bow made. That works really good too. Or if you have somebody near you, you can have them stick their finger in there. <laughs> that sounds really sick. <laughs> Not their naughty finger. We don't have none of that. There we go. There's our bow. That looks really nice. And, oh, I forgot an envelope. Let's see, what are we gonna do with an envelope? Think, I think what I would like to do is let's grab our crushed curry in. So that's going to go with what we're doing here nicely. And I think I'll stamp maybe a leaf here. Oh, I have an idea. Let's keep going with that. Um, let's grab. Hmm, Maybe a little mossy meadow. I'll do maybe that like that. That looks really nice. And then let's bring in our blessing. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Here we go. That's how we're gonna decorate our envelope. Wow, that looks really nice, doesn't it? So you've got a pocket card here that uses up designer series paper scraps. We've got a cool corner punch and these, oh my goodness. These leaf label and amber gem combo pack is so fun. And of course you can take this and you can tie um, some ribbon or some twine in here. You can use it to hang from something. Like I was thinking if you were gonna do, um, oh, maybe these would look really great as Thanksgiving place settings. You could tie some ribbon on the end, put a little gem on them and put everybody's name on it and put it at their at their place at your, at your fancy table, right? <laughs> so that leads me to a really interesting conversation. I'll tell you about it while I'm cleaning up here. Um, remember, we will have uh, a free download project sheet for this, so don't worry about that. Um, Thanksgiving at our house is a little different. Um, we go out hunting just like we do any other day during that week. And we sit at the table. My mom makes Thanksgiving dinner, which is fantastic. We sit at the table and we eat our Thanksgiving dinner. And sometimes deer run by out in the field because my mom was out in the country. She has 40 acres. And when that happens, the entire table clears. Everybody flies out the door, snow or no snow on the ground. They're out there in their stocking feet. It is rather hysterical. So that is Thanksgiving at where I go to my mom's house. And that has happened many, many times over the years. Not going to lie. <laughs> All right. We're going to continue to use the Hello Harvest with the rustic pumpkin dyes. This is the matching dies that go with this bundle. Um, we're going to pull in the Cajun Craze Old Olive. Mm, I don't think we're using that because it wasn't in my bin. And black ink. And I've got two projects to share with you here. So let me, oh, let me grab my little cheat sheet here. Put that over there so I don't lose it. Put my new one up. Okay. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We are going to, here we go. Okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> Let me get it together, Kelly, come on, you can do it. All right, um, 
we're gonna bring in our trimmer. Oh, let me give you the dimensions first here. This is Cajun Craze. It's two and three quarters by eight and a half. This is the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. We have two pieces here. This one is one by four, and this one is one and a quarter by three and a half. And then we have a piece of basic white that's two and a half by four and a scrap. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to score this. You could just hold it in half, but I'm gonna score it. We're gonna score this at four and a quarter. And then we are going to take this piece and we're going to use our la 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 here we go do you like my little la 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 i do i always i do that when i'm here alone too so i feel like i'm among friends and i can be my normal weird self i'm going to take this and i'm going to stamp it on this white layer just like that and that looks really nice the white layer oops the white layer is going to go right inside this is our card and I'll tell you about it as we make the next project because it's a little different, right? This is like a mini card. So this is the inside of our card. Okay, now we have to decorate the front and this is beyond simple, you guys. White scrap, I'm going to take the words. This says, it's going to be fab, as in fabulous. And I looked through a whole bunch of stamp sets until I found just the right greeting. It's going to be fab comes in the cottage rose. The other one that I considered was you are positively the greatest, but I like the fab. It's going to be fab. And this will make sense in just a few minutes. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna stamp it on our white, basic white scrap. We're gonna use, I believe this is the second to the smallest die from the Stylish Shape Dies. Look at all my pieces I have in here ready to go. This is the second to the smallest square in the stitched square, or in the Stylish Shapes. And we're gonna put this on here and we are going to die cut that. And then we're gonna have this. Now what I'm gonna do to that is I'm gonna take that same leaf with that old olive ink and I'm going to stamp it off once and then I'm going to oops, come in here and I'm gonna add it to my label because I love that look. And I think it just really dresses things up. And I stamped it first full strength and it's like, nope, that's too dark. It covers up my words. So I didn't want that, right? So then I redid it stamping off once to get that second generation of ink. Um, I think I'm, nope, okay, never mind. All right, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this on some dimensionals. Here's my dimensionals. And I'm gonna do one here. And it looks like we've run out, but don't worry, we have lots of edges. And I'll put one over here, that'll be stable. We'll get that ready to go. We're gonna take these, again, a great way to use up your scraps of designer series paper, you guys. We're gonna take this longer one and we're gonna put it right over here, just like that. And then we're gonna take our shorter one. Now you have to make sure that you're using these, like I don't, you know, you don't want your pumpkins to go sideways, so make sure that it's going the right way if you have a definite pattern. We're gonna bring this one in right here. Get that straight. I need to tie a bow for this. And I think I'm going to use this size. Now this is a bow jig if you're new to me or you haven't seen this before. Um, I'm gonna wrap this around twice. And I'm gonna leave you know, some decent sized tails here. And you just tie it in the middle. Now, if you haven't seen these before, I do sell them. Um, I don't make any money on them. I just sell them for what they cost me. A gentleman in our area makes them. And if you would like one, just pop me an email. They're $10. They don't cost a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna put this right in here. So before I put this down, 
Let's see, do I have? Yep, I have a dimensional over there. Let me grab a mini glue dot. And we're gonna put this right here. So I want my bow to be about right here. Add a mini glue dot, stick that right down like that. I put it kind of at an angle because now we're gonna bring in our square and we're gonna do just like that. Now, if you if you don't have curly baker's twine, a lot of times you can curl this by running it through your bone folder, just like you would ribbon. And then it'll kind of make it be curly. Tuck that in there. Okay, so here is our adorable little card. And you can embellish it up if you want to. And um, now I have another project I'm going to share with you. And then I'll tell you what this is all about because this is a special gift that I've made. Here comes the next one. We're going to be using some of the threaded twine. That's in the mini catalog. And also the peekaboo treat bags. These are super, super cute little treat bags. You get five white and five craft colored in here. And they are on low inventory. I just looked before I came on to do this, so I wanted to make sure that everything I had was still in stock. Um, they have a little window in them, and they are, I believe they're food safe. Oops, where'd my thing go? I think they're food safe. It doesn't say on here. Yep, food safe. They are safe to put food in, so you can put treats in here like a cookie or some candies but I recommend you open them up before you start working with them because their Ziploc is really pretty snug. Okay, so we have white ones and we have craft colored. I'm gonna use the craft colored and then I'll show you what I did with the white ones too because they both turned out really great. And again, you get 10 bags in here, peekaboo treat bags. So all of my, all of my layers, here comes all my layers. So I have a white scrap, and what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take our Cajun Craze ink and the um, sentiment that's in a nice label that says, wishing you the loveliest day. Oh, hang on. Yep, that's what I needed up there. My thing fell off. Cajun Craze ink. We're gonna stamp that right on here. And then we've got a die that will die cut that baby. So that's cool, right? Get that out of here. Here's our die. And then I also want the leaf die. So we have a leaf die, that same leaf that we just stamped right here. There's a die for that. So that's cool, right? Oh, look at I got stuff sticking all over. My hands look really kind of dry today. I'm sorry about that. It's kind of gross looking. Okay. We're going to die cut this. And we're also going to take some of the distressed gold paper. Now, I have to tell you, this paper has been so popular. I think it's the second time that it's on back order. This will be unavailable until the 28th of November. And I, I'm, I'm so sorry. But it's been so popular. I know a lot of you already have it. If you don't have it, please mark your calendars for the 28th. It will be coming into the warehouse that week and get yourself at least one pack. You get two 12 by 12 sheets of this. And it is it is just, Distress Gold is so beautiful for so many things. So um, we're going to be die cutting this and then we're going to die cut two leaves out of this. And you know you can cut this in half and stack that paper and die cut both of them at the same time. This is a little thinner. So let's get that done. Here's my label. And here are my beautiful gold leaves. All right. Where did our treat pouch go? Mm, that's not it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> like, what happened to it? Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this. And we'll use up some more of these edges, right? I just do this so they're ready to roll. I don't have to keep cutting them every time. We'll do one here. We'll do one here. 
And how about, I want just a little bit thinner one right up here at the top. Okay, so that should work good. We're gonna take our designer series paper. Now this designer series paper is the Harvest, the um, Rustic Harvest again. And it is, oops, it is two by three and seven eighths and one by three and seven eighths. And this fits perfectly on these pouches. Now, if you wanted to, you could decorate the back of your pouch too. I'm not going to, but you could. And I leave just a little sliver, just a little sliver of that craft paper underneath my designer paper. And then we're gonna go with this one down at the bottom. And you wanna make sure you're getting your glue on those, on the outside, you know, the, way out to the edge because you, when you put something in this, that's gonna buckle that treat holder just a little bit and you don't want your paper to look like it's falling off, right? Okay, isn't that pretty already? I love this. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to pop these off. Oops, dang it, there we go. And we're going to put this right up here. <gasps> so pretty, right? Mm, love, love. And then these two, we're gonna just tuck in under here. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue right here. And I'm gonna tuck that in right there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue right here. I'm gonna tuck that in right there. What do you guys think? Isn't that so pretty? All right, there's more. Hang tight. Now, you're gonna take 29 inches of that threaded twine and we're going to oh we're gonna put our gift in here first okay so put your gift in whatever you're gonna put in here this would also make a really nice place setting you could put somebody's name on here or a little tag with their name and put a little like some some um after dinner mints in here, that would be really cool. You could put their name at the top, whatever. This would also make a nice decoration place setting for Thanksgiving for any guests that you may have in com coming over. Okay, so this is extra long because I wanted a nice big bow on here. You can see there's some little notches right here that your ribbon or twine or whatever will kind of just notch right into. Let me see what I'm doing here. Pull this over just a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're gonna tie this in a bow. Let's see if I can keep it on here. <laughs> I'm gonna tie my bow right over here on this side. And that looks pretty good. <laughs> like these two tails are pretty even. And you don't wanna tie this in a knot, okay? Because it's pretty thick. But this is great for all of your 3D things that you may be making coming up, especially for the holidays. And here is our adorable little treat holder. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta fits around with that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so easy, right? And those are the peekaboo treat bags. Now, let me show you. Let me get all this out of the way here. I'll show you what I have. We have this little card that goes with this. We also made this. Now, why did I make this? Well, let me show you. Oh my goodness, I put the Stampin' Up! keychain in here, and this was a gift for all of my onstage attendees that attended. Now, we had onstage attendees all over the country. Um, the majority of my team was in Indianapolis, but we also had people going to Anaheim and Arlington, Anaheim, California, Arlington, Texas, and Jacksonville, Florida. So here's the white bags. We use the same designer series paper on there. Let me see. Here's a different designer series paper on this one. Let me see if I can find some more different ones. Oh, here we use the crushed curry down here. Yeah, whoa, I've got tons of these <laughs> made up and I wanted to do a video for you guys before I put them all in the mail. I have a lot of team members all over the country that are going to this event and I want to give them a special gift 
because they're investing in their business or in their hobby as a discount shopper. And I just wanted to make sure that they know how much I appreciate them. And I'm glad that they're going to the event. And then I also have all of these going too. So lots of fun is going to be had at Indianapolis and Anaheim and Arlington and uh, Jacksonville. Yay! Okay, now I am going to let you go. I will get a blog post ready with photos. I will get my PDFs loaded. I will get a replay of this video available on my blog. And I have to get these out in the mail now. So you guys have yourselves a fantastic week. I do not believe I will have time to make a live, not live for November 20th. I just want you to know that because when I get back from um, Indianapolis and Iowa, I have approximately one day before I will be heading up north for gun hunting season. So for all of my hunters out there, good luck, be safe. And I will see you again on November 27th. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to use my host code if you're placing an order under $150. You will find all the details for these projects on my blog, astampabove.com. You'll find my ordering button there. You're going to find the PDF downloads there. I will also put links um, under the video on YouTube so you can check that out too. Thanks, you guys, so much. Have a fantastic Thanksgiving, and just know that I really appreciate you. Bye-bye.